Thank you very much for joining me on this Thursday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Twin systems out there. This is not super common to have two systems close by. It makes the forecast challenging, but I want to show you what happens if two systems can get together. Now, the for, here's the Caribbean. The first one is here. That is Philippe. That's a classified system. The one back behind it, not classified. That's the one that's been uh, trying to become Rena. It's hard for it to get its act together because, again, Philippe is so close by. So what does this mean? What happens with two systems that are so close by? Well, there's some options. Now, the first thing they could do is rotate around each other. And in a second, I want to show you a slide. I want to show you a, a kind of what would happen, how that looks. I'll take you back in time. I'll show you that in a second. They can also merge. But if you have two systems out there that merge together, that doesn't make a mega hurricane. It's not an additive effect. It doesn't mean we're going to have this massive system out there. What happens when they merge, usually the stronger one absorbs the weaker one and the weaker one just kind of goes away. So that's what happens there. You don't get a mega hurricane uh, if they do merge. So as far as what happens with these two, not sure yet. Very complicated forecast when you have two systems nearby. Now look at this. This is way back in time. You see these two systems, how they kind of almost pinwheel around each other. That's called the Fujiwara effect. Here it is again. You see this. This is in the Pacific. I think this was imagery from 2017. They just kind of rotate around each other. So that's one option. This named after the scientists who discovered this, who research this, the Fujiwara effect. So you can have two strong systems. Usually if they're the same strength, they will rotate around each other. So we, we've seen that. We've seen that happen over the years. These are just so close together that it leads to uncertainty because here's why. I am not sure which one wants to be the stronger one at this point. The models are not sure either. Everything in the environment doesn't really tell me what's going to happen. So point being, just kind of watching these uh, as we go out in time. And fortunately, there's some time to watch them. They're just kind of sitting out there at this point. And this is reflected in what the National Hurricane Center has been putting out in the track. And they've been saying it. They, they put out a track. But basically, no one, no one is certain. So if you're hearing anyone saying that this is coming in a certain direction or anything like that, or if you're hearing anyone saying this is going to make a mega system, that's not the case. You see the track here basically uh, as you go out in time just kind of sitting around there for days and days because they're not sure, I'm not sure which one takes over. That's what happens when you get two systems together. Some forecasts are easy, some are harder. We had that earlier with Adalia. The forecast track was so locked in with that. That was an easy forecast. This one a little more difficult. Fortunately, we're not dealing with a category four or five hurricane with these, but here we are in the Caribbean. So this is the European model. I want to show you the American model with this. And you can see here, you have both of these systems right here. The first one is fleet. Now the European model, it keeps going back and forth, depending on what time of day you look at it, has uh, what is Philippe just kind of weakening as we go on time. This is by the time we get into the weekend. This is by the time we get into Sunday. Sunday, it shows what is Philippe just trying to weaken right there and fall apart. And it's showing the system back behind it a little bit better organized. But also one thing I want to point out is that there's a lot of wind shear here. So the European model is saying, hey, both of these are going to stay weak. Not sure what exactly happens with it. They could just drift toward the Caribbean and that could increase the chance of rain. I'll monitor that, but we need to see how that kind of evolves out in time. So this is by Sunday, the European model is showing two weaker systems. And then it eventually shows Philippe absorbing the one back behind it, what I was talking about a few minutes ago, and then getting a little bit stronger and eventually lifting up to the north by the time we get into next week. That's one scenario. Again, there's really, uh, the science isn't there yet to know what's going to happen with these. I'm looking at all the environmental conditions. There's just nothing kind of telling as far as what will happen. Now, here's uh, the same situation with these twin systems. Uh, one here, one right here with the American model. And you can see here, just going out in time, what happens with this model, this is by Sunday. It takes Philippe and it just kind of absorbs uh, the system back behind it. But there are some other models that say, hey, the system behind it may absorb Philippe, and that's completely plausible as well. European model has it absorb the uh, system back behind it, then get a little stronger and goes to the north. Now, stronger systems want to go to the north as long as there's nothing blocking it because something's spinning on a globe that is also spinning. What happens there is they kind of lift up toward the poles. So this is also a potential. It's a really a wait and see, but at least there's time to kind of monitor this. 
this. In the short term, we're just we're just watching it, just monitoring these two uh, twin systems. Yeah, extra rain is possible. They may drift our way like the European model and bring in some extra rain. That's a potential. Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, watching that toward St. Martin, over toward uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands, British Virgin Islands, or they could just stay away like the, the American model. And both of the models, it's not that one's right or wrong at this point. They're just kind of going back and forth because they can't read the environment uh, as well. Just a tricky scenario when you have two systems so close. So Philippe is the uh, the name that we're dealing with, the one back behind it trying to become Rena, but it may not necessarily become Rena. Uh, it may not. So we'll just see which one wants to take over and then whichever one really takes over, then we'll have a good handle on uh, where this may go. And we'll, they could actually rotate a little bit around each other. Again, that Fujiwara effect. All right, you see it here. That's Philippe on the uh, leading edge of your screen. This is the moisture that's been around. We had some heavy rain yesterday, parts of Jamaica, Cayman Islands, Cuba, over toward Florida, even Belize. We had some showers and storms. As we get into the eastern Pacific side, again, not a whole lot going on. So short term, let me show you what we have today. Again, still this batch of rain because of an old front up here, drawing up that moisture back through the Bahamas, parts of Florida. Cuba, Cayman Islands, scattered showers and storms in Jamaica, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, right down through Costa Rica, Panama, staying on the active side, ABC Islands, way too dry, Eastern Caribbean for us in Trinidad and Tobago, yes, yeah, some scattered showers and storms possible, not a super high chance, but some around, Dominica, we had some rain and storms overnight, by tomorrow into uh, Saturday, generally the same pattern, although over here, Western Caribbean, that front kind of washes out, so we're going to see that rain chance going down and then we'll see what the heck happens with these two systems out there as we go over the next few days. Know that I'm on it. If anything does try to get stronger and uh, if things change with this, I will let you know right away. If there's a big change, I'll put out a new video, but this is how it stands. Now, Jamaica, our rain chance 60% today. Scatter rain and storms. Again, some areas of flooding possible. Same thing as we work our way back through the Cayman Islands. A 30% chance the next few days in St. Lucia. We work our way into Barbados. Rain chance about 30% for today. Passing shower possible. 40% chance the next few days, right through the weekend, Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, 30% chance today, 20% chance tomorrow, 30% chance St. Vincent and the Grenadines, a 50% chance of showers and storms across Belize, already some around now, a 50% chance Dominica, and again, we had some rain around in spots last night, even some gusty winds. St. Kitts and Nevis, 20 to 30% chance the next few days through Montserrat, Antigua and Barbuda, a couple of passing showers possible, watching what's going on off to the east. Puerto Rico could see some afternoon storms today, tomorrow, right through the weekend. 30% chance passing showers, U.S. Virgin Islands and British Virgin Islands. 20% chance the next couple days in Anguilla, up to a 30% chance Saturday, and we'll see how close some of that moisture to the east does get. Bahamas, best chance northern and central sections again. 30% chance today, St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia, about a 30% chance through the weekend. Yucatan and Mexico, 40% chance of some showers and storms. 30% chance for us today. Turks and Caicos also tomorrow. 40% chance of some spotty storms across Haiti and a 50% chance Dominican Republic. Some of those storms though could be strong. That could lead to some flooding in some location. 50% uh, chance next few days. Central and Western Cuba a little more active and then mainly dry. We get back through Aruba. Curacao and Bonaire, just not a lot of rain. Everything's either been east or west. Once again, we'll see that pattern breaking down some, though, as we get into next month. Some scattered showers and storms possible today. Guadalupe, we get toward Martinique, a 40% chance today, 30% chance tomorrow. High rain chance today across Costa Rica, and about a 40% chance the next few days in northern Venezuela. And we get back toward Guyana. Rain chance starts to go down. Guyana, Suriname, as I was mentioning yesterday, that rain chance continues to uh, trend down. Just a limited chance in Suriname. Bermuda, limited chance of rain. We'll see it picking up a little bit as we work our way into the weekend, so I'll keep an eye on that. No big system right now nearby. Now, those twin systems, yeah, kind of inching closer. Watching that, yeah, could eventually bring us some rain, but that track is so, so uncertain because that's just how it is when you have two systems so close. And as we go over the next few weeks, these fronts from the United States, and there's more of them, will be dropping into the Gulf and the Caribbean, and that's where we could see things kind of spinning up, and that's what I'll be monitoring for you. So very interesting forecast. I hope I explained that well for you. If you have uh, any questions, I'll try to get to those comments as we go through the day. Have a good day ahead.